Hello guys, um, it's been probably about three or four months since I last did a video um, because I've just not done anything on the bike at all. It's been stuck down in my cellar, getting in the way while I've been doing other stuff. So I've decided to give it another go and get carry on with it. So. I've now made the, I don't know if you can just see it here, down there, the spaces that go on the end of the swinging arm. Now as you can see my lathe work isn't brilliant so there's a bit, tiny bit of a lip there so I might just have to turn that down so it's just completely flush um, but somehow I managed to get it right on that side, that's, that's well it's just a tiny cockade out. So I need to do that. Um, so now the swinging arm fits in just nicely. I've had to grind down a bit of metal from behind where the footrests go there so to slide it because there was a bit of a ridge there and it wouldn't have slid in and if I'd have made the spaces short too short to get past that ridge then they'd have been, they wouldn't have connected to the side of the frame so there's no side movement at all now um, I've started making the rear master cylinder, it's like a bar thing that, you know, when you put your foot on the pedal it activates the cylinder. So I've done that. I've had to go at rounding this off because that's where the exhaust is going to come up but it looks a bit shit does that at the moment so I might junk that and get another one or try and make it a bit more rounder or something like that, I don't know polish it up, see what that looks like so the only th the other thing is um, I think I'm going to have to keep the battery tray in because I'm not particularly happy with having a massive seat ump at the back of the bike. The one I attempted to have a go at making, I think it just looked a bit ridiculous. So I don't know, I've still got to make my mind up about that. But the battery tray, the existing battery tray, still fits in, but it's just sort of like rubbing on the top of the shock absorber there so I either need to make a decision and do something with that or whatever or do away with the battery tray completely I know that's what I'm supposed to do but sometimes it doesn't work out to plan and I need to find a way to mount the gas cylinder for my shock absorber this one's an old and it's been in bits and I was thinking of making a mount that sort of like sticks it there or something like that um, I'll have to wait and see because remember I've got the undersea exhaust so I can't have it anywhere near that I don't think um, and that seems like the most logical place to have it so, I need a new, <coughs> to make a new words for that, where's it gone, for there look, this is off a, a Thunder Ace and it sort of like goes round some on the Thunder Ace so I just need a, a shorter one that goes from there to there, I don't need all this crap, um, and that will bolt onto the battery tray if I have that. So. At the moment I'm just into a bit of thinking what do I do, I might even have a go at you know, sorting the front end out and stripping that down and cleaning that and getting that ready and putting that to one side. The back wheel, um, I could do something with that. Got a, a tyre, my mate gave me a tyre so I'm going to use that on it 
so I could do that. There's, so there's a few little things I can do. It's just deciding what the hell to do. The engine is still in the same bloody state as it was before. I need a gasket set. Uh, I think I think what it is, I've I don't know. Not lost the motivation, but it's stopped and I've gone on to somewhere else and then gone on to somewhere else and then gone on to somewhere else and then I don't know, just it's just seemed as though a couple of months have gone by really quick. So what I have done is I've now got a new welder. Um, it's a TIG welder that can do steel, aluminium, whatever. So I'm going to have a do with that. Um, so this is only a really, really dead quick video. I will be doing some more stuff in the next few weeks, I promise you, because I need to get cracked on with it, because I've decided I'm going to move house next year. And the bike, I wanted it done for my 50th birthday, well that's gone. Two weeks ago, and look at the state of it, it's nowhere near. So, I've just got a few bits to do. What I will do with the frame, I think, is there are bits of stuff that, you know, are sticking out. So I need to grind all them down. Get all the, like there, look, there's a bit of, I don't know what that is, it's a bit of metal just sticking out. So I need to get all that down, grind it all down, and then at least I can get the frame ready to be painted and stuff. And I suppose if the frame's painted, then it might just spur me on a bit. But I need to make absolutely sure that there's no more welding to be done on it. Pointless painting it to scrape it off and do a bit of welding and get it painted again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a right good think about what I'm going to do and see how it goes from there. So like I said, just a quick quick update um, and I'll do another video in the next few weeks. Thanks for being patient, it's just one of them things I'm afraid. Time seems to go quicker. But anyway, right guys, see you later.